But let's take a look at how this whole thing unfolded. Let's start earlier today at the Talladega Super Speedway. Again, it was an absolutely beautiful day, and we were clean and green for the early part of the race. Clean and green for the early part. And you know, Matt Kenseth jumps out front and leaves off, picks up right where he's left off on most of the restrictor plate tracks, and especially here at Talladega. We saw a lot of green flag pit stops today, Kenny. Yeah, and those are very important here. You check this out. Ricky Stenhouse gets high, digs in hard. He will compete for the win later on, but what a close call. Close call for Ricky Stenhouse. Here we have more drivers coming down. Kyle Busch is trying to get into his pit box, does not make it in there. And how does he feel about this? A lot of emotion from Kyle Busch, but you know what? He would be there when all was said and done. Let's get back out on the racetrack here. Jimmy Johnson leads, and his points rival, Matt Kenseth, is following. You know, these two guys, Matt Kenseth and Jimmy Johnson, did what they had to do today. Today, They ran up front the whole race. They wanted to lead the most laps. They led laps. It was Jimmy Johnson who would go on to lead the most laps, and that's why we have a shuffle at the top of the point standings. More on that in just a moment as Jimmy Johnson gets more aggressive as he takes the lead back away. At this point in the race, everybody is saying Jimmy Johnson needs the lead lap to be even with Matt Kenseth, and he does that now, Johnny. And let's hear what the 20 had to say. All right, bud, let me talk to you for a minute. I, I really, uh, so I, I know you know, and I couldn't expect you to do anything different, 100% my fault, but you got to protect the middle. I don't mind if people go under me if I'm in the middle. I don't mind if I get hung in the middle. I can't get hung by myself on the top, and I can't get hung by myself on the bottom. So, you know, whatever you can do. I saw the 48 with a run, but if I would have known he wasn't cleared at 18, where when he went under me, I could have moved down to the middle, even though we're too wide. That's kind of what I need to know. So a bit of a teaching moment for Matt Kenseth as he talks with his spotter, letting him know exactly what he needs out on the racetrack. But here goes Marcus Ambrose. Yeah, we're waiting to blame somebody on this Kyle Petty, but from what we hear, all looks say he just spun out coming through this triable. Yeah, and people, there had been reports that he was fairly loose. As he come off the wall and turned left, car got out from under him. Juan Ma Pablo Montoya, just an innocent victim there. He was in the wrong place at the wrong time. That pretty much did out the day for Juan Pablo and Marcus Ambrose. And here we go to another one of those very important restarts. Sometimes it's a problem for the Jimmy Johnson. Restarts are the most th important thing here. You want to get through the gearbox. He gets up there real good. He is junior behind him, and everything's clean and green. More green flag pit stops. Let's check in on the stop with the number 48 team. And the 48 team pitted a couple of laps early. I don't think they expected him and he went from the front of the pack back in the pack. Now, he never got back to the front, as we'll see later in the race. You need to pit with a friend here at Talladega, and Jimmy Johnson was pretty much on his own. And again, here's his points rival, the number 20 of Matt Kenseth, and the 78 car of Kurt Busch with the familiar Ricky Bobby paint scheme. And everybody's taking on four tires because it took that long to fill up with gas. You might as well put four tires on if it, if it takes that long to fill up with gas. Here's why you never ride off the number 18 team and driver Kyle Busch takes the lead on lap 148 after going a lap down. Yeah, after those guys had to drive through because uh, under green because they missed their pits because Kyle missed his pits. They come back from a lap down to lead this thing. And here's what excites the crowd at Talladega. Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the 88 makes his move and takes the lead. And it is the same again. We could hear the roar of the crowd as Dale Jr. comes to the front. He stays up there as long as he can, but you can see they're bearing down on him. Danica Patrick spent some time running up in the top 10, but here in the pits, trouble for the 10 car. Yeah, she just misses. She comes on pit road and gets over in the grass, then misses her pits, just as Kyle Busch did earlier in the race, and has to go back around. The problem is these guys are coming down for their green flag stop and have to dodge her. And Matt Kenseth wasn't happy about that. What the hell is the 10 car doing? What a derelict. So let's go back to the last lap. This is where we expected to see the big one. Here goes Austin Dillon in the 14 around, collects a couple of other cars. Yeah, and I think the 14 car of Austin Dillon, they had a plan to run with the 88. I think he made his move a little bit early, came down the racetrack, went back up, and just got away from him. He got loose, spins, takes the 13 car with him, but 
at that point in time, the white flag had flown and the race was over. When the white flag comes out, they freeze the field if a caution comes out, and that means Jamie McMurray has his seventh career win and his fourth on these restrictor plate tracks. There are different horses for different horses, and this horse likes the plate track. Let's take a look at the results here is Jamie McMurray. Now, we caution you that these are unofficial results because of what goes on on the racetrack here at the final uh, lap. They have to take a look at the scoring loops, but right now it's McMurray, Earnhardt Jr., Stenhouse, Menard, Kyle Busch, David Reagan, David Gilliland with the top 10, Truex Jr., Newman, and Clint Boyer, all in the top 10.